With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let's start the question. The question says that a vertical tower stands on a horizontal plane and is surmounted by a vertical flagstaff of height h. At a point on the plane, the angles of elevation of the bottom and the top of the flagstaff are alpha and beta respectively. Prove that the height of the tower is h tan alpha by tan beta minus tan alpha. So in the question, they are saying that there is a vertical tower upon which a vertical black flagstaff of height h is placed and on the plane, the angles of elevation of the bottom and top of flagstaff are given as alpha and beta. We need to prove that height of tower is given by this expression. So here we have drawn a diagram. Here OP is the tower and FP is the flagstaff above it with h height. We have taken OP as capital H height and then this is the angle of elevation alpha and beta. So here we have taken OP as the tower and this is equal to H we have taken. Then we have taken FP as flagstaff and this is equal to small h. Then here OR, the horizontal, horizontal, we have taken it as as X. Then the angles of elevation is given in the question. Angles of elevation. This is equal to alpha and beta. So now we will start the solution. So first we will see in triangle ROF, the bigger triangle. So in triangle ROF, we will apply tan to the angle beta. So tan beta will be equal to, we know tan means opposite side by adjacent side. So the opposite side to beta is OF by adjacent side is OR. So the reason for this is tan theta is equal to opposite side by adjacent side. Now here we can see that OF can be split into FP and OP. So we will split and write it. So this will be tan beta is equal to OP plus FP by OR. Now we will substitute the values. So this will be tan beta equal to OP is nothing but we can see from the figure it is capital H plus FP is small h by OR we have taken as x. So from this we will get the value of x. So x will be equal to capital H plus small h by tan beta. So we will take this as equation 1. Now we will see in the smaller triangle R, P, O. So in triangle R, P, O. Again by applying tan to the angle alpha. So tan alpha is equal to, we have already seen that tan is opposite side by adjacent side. So tan alpha will be equal to equal to OP by OR. So now here we will substitute the values. So tan alpha will be equal to OP is nothing but capital H by OR is X. But we have the value of X from 1. So we will substitute this. So substituting X from 1. So now this will be tan alpha is equal to capital H by X we have as capital H plus H by tan beta. So we will cross multiply so this will be H plus H by tan beta equal to capital H by tan alpha. Now again we will cross multiply. So from here 
Now we'll cross multiply. So this will be h plus h tan alpha equal to capital H tan beta. Now we'll open the brackets here. So this will be capital H tan alpha plus small h tan alpha is equal to capital H tan beta. Now the height of the tower is capital H. So we need to find that. So this will be h tan alpha equal to h tan beta minus capital H tan alpha. So small h tan alpha is equal to capital H. We'll take common tan beta minus tan alpha. So capital H will be equal to h tan alpha by tan beta. Minus tan alpha. So here we can see we have got the expression for height of the tower as we wanted in the question. So now we can tell. Hence, proved. So now we can conclude. Therefore, it has been proved that. Height of tower is h tan alpha by tan beta minus tan alpha. Thank you. For class six to twelve, ITG and NEET level, trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.